So we have created a test case to send an HTTP POST request using REST Assured. And this is our test create user method. So what we did here, we used REST Assured to create an HTTP POST request. We have specified it here, HTTP POST request, which is sent to a local host. The base URI is here, localhost port number 8080 to forward slash users, and it will send the following in its JSON body. We have created one object which contains user details and a single address, which is a shipping address. And once this HTTP POST request is successfully run, we should have one record stored in our database, one user, and this user has one address. And before we can run this test, we need to make sure that our web service API, which is mobile app WS, is running and is available on localhost at port 8080. Otherwise, this test will fail because this is a real integration test and rest assured, will actually send that HTTP request. And if you do not have this web service endpoint forward slash users, which is running at this context path at this server and this port, then the test will fail. So what I need to do, I need to first run my mobile app WS server, or if you're running this uh, RESTful web service application on a different server, like it's not local host, but it's a different IP address or a different port, then you have to change these values here. So I'll run my web service application on localhost port number 8080 and I have it in my application properties file here port number 8080 and I have h2 console enabled so my data will be stored in in memory database so I will run this application now I'll run it as Spring Boot app let's see the console starting up so the application started on port 8080 with the following context path, mobile app WS. So everything is good. Now I'll go back to my rest assured test. It's here, and my project is here. And I will run this test method. So I'll right mouse click and do run as unit test. Here we go, the bar is green and our unit test has passed. What we can now do, we can now look into a database and see if we have a record there. So I'll bring up my browser window and then I will go to localhost port 8080 and then application context, which is mobile app dash WS forward slash H2 dash console like this and hit enter. Here's my console. I will log in into it and click on connect. So here's my database. I'll click on user stable and I will run this query. So I have only one record which proves that HTTP request was sent and we have one record in the database. Now if I run my JUnit test again, it should fail because the record already exists. So if I attempt to run it again, run as JUnit test, I should get an error message and a red bar. Here we go. JUnit test failed. Looks like it's working. So I can stop my web service application running on port 8080 by clicking on this red stop button. It will stop the application. And I can run it again, run as Spring Boot app. So what that will do, because we use in-memory database, restart of application will clear all the data which is stored in memory database and we can run our unit test again. Let me look up if application started. Yes, it has started. I'll switch back to my browser window and I will sign out. And now I will sign in again, click on connect. The database should be empty. I'll click on users, run selected query. The database is empty. I can now go to my Spring Tool Suite and then I will go to a test method and I will run it as JUnit test again. And this time the bar should be green. Here we go, the bar is green and the test is passing. 
Also, if we switch to a console by clicking on this button here, we should see a printout of our HTTP request sent by rest assured. So if I scroll a little bit, this is the HTTP request print out here. So I'm seeing that it, it is sending a request, which is post request to the following URL. And then the two greater than signs tell us this is outgoing information. So we're sending HTTP post request, which contains accept header, application JSON, content type, application JSON, and so on. So this is outgoing information. And, and this is also outgoing information. This is the JSON payload of our HTTP request which contains user details and address details. And this is incoming information. So I'm seeing that the content type of the incoming information is application JSON, the date of it. And if I continue scrolling down, I will see the incoming JSON payload. So I see user ID, first name, last name, email, and so on. And in my test, I'm validating that the username in the incoming JSON payload should not be now. And because the user ID is not now, my test is passing. Okay, so our test is working. Let's continue.